So today we're taking a look at Android launches, but not necessarily the big ones that everyone's heard of, but more the niche ones, the specialized ones, the ones that offer features that you cannot find anywhere else. Whilst they might not be quite as refined as their more well-known counterparts, the launches you find in this video could change the way you customize your device. So the first guy on this list is the Fast Key Launcher. And literally, there is a full-size keyboard right in the middle of your homepage. The reason for this, that is how you navigate. You simply start typing the name of a contact or an application, and it very quickly, without any animation whatsoever, brings up the relevant search. And within typing two or three letters, you've almost definitely got the application or thing you want right in front of you. It's faster than you probably expect, but if you do decide you want to use a typical app drawer, there is a card-style minimalist option available. So the next one is very, very different. This is the AP15 launcher, and every one of your applications is on the home screen and is represented by the word. So the extent of the customization here is the wallpaper and the text color, and that's pretty much where it ends. There are no widgets, but aside from that, it's about as fast and intuitive as you could have wanted. The size of each word represents how much you use the application, and everything is expressed in alphabetical order, so you can normally find things you want far faster than you expected. So the third launcher on this list is called the Power Plus Launcher and this is entirely geared around saving your battery. Literally the first widget that you get on the main screen tells you when your battery is predicted to run out. The launcher, given that you give it the right permissions, can automatically start hibernating apps you're not using very much. And what that does is prevents them gathering data and being active in the background, which this app says can generate you up to 60% more phone performance and really extend your battery life. Whilst it's a little bit lacking on customization, it's a pretty intuitive launcher to use, and it even gives you personalized tips and tricks on how to maximize your battery life. So then we've got SwipePad, a launcher which is a little bit unique in that it runs on top of whatever existing launcher you've got. And what it is, is you swipe in from the side, and all of a sudden you've got instant access to a whole bunch of applications or commands. And truly, a vast amount. Everything from opening up a certain app, to being able to automatically start navigating you to a specific location. Now, you can purchase add-on packs which make it even more powerful than it originally was, but actually, even as it stands, it's one of the coolest launches I've tried. So the next one is called Flow, and in my opinion, it's quite reminiscent of HTC Blinkfeed. It links some of your different social medias, and it combines them into a feed right on your home screen. It's quite reminiscent of HTC's Blink feed, if you remember that. On the right-hand side, you have a traditional app drawer, but to be honest, it's not the easiest to navigate and far from the most customizable. On the bottom right, there is a little button which shows you your most frequently used applications, and that is a good way to cycle between them. There's also some pretty heavy customization for how you want the feed laid out, and it can also support your standard widgets, which fit just above the feed on your home screen. So the next launcher, which I did feature quite a long time ago on the channel, which has come quite a long way since, is OF Launcher. And the key feature here is that you can use almost everything on the launcher with one hand. Swiping right shows your widgets. Swiping left shows your applications categorized by different things. And note these have been sorted automatically. And then swiping down from above, you see all your applications. And if you do invest just a little bit of time manually sorting your applications, you can get a really good result. So then we've got the Peak Launcher, and this is kind of reminiscent of the Fast Key Launcher as before, but instead of the full-size keyboard, we've got the Dial Pad, but it works in a similar way. It generally works pretty fast, but the only obvious omission is that by typing in someone's number on the home screen, you can't actually directly call them. Having said that, something I really did like about this launcher, and to be honest, something I wish would be implemented in the more popular ones, is by changing the wallpaper, the application will automatically detect the main colors of it and adapt its colors accordingly. So you'll notice the text colors change, the app draw colors change, and it really, really does suit the background quite well. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some useful launches that are definitely worth testing out, even if it is just temporarily. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a sub, and don't forget to check out my other content. I'll show it in an end screen. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.